have just given life, you have just grown a whole human and sustained that human. Um, and that required a lot of changes within your body, a lot of hormonal shifts, um, your ligaments change, even our bones change when we are bringing a baby into the world. And so the idea that you would snap back in any way, shape or form um, is unrealistic and it's unhealthy. Sometimes, yes, some women appear to be able to do that on the outside, but the thing with comparison is we really don't know um, 100% what her story was like or what her struggle was like. Even the terminology snap back would imply that you're going to go back to your pre-pregnancy self. And that may not be the case. You're, you're growing up as you go through this motherhood phase. And so it's okay if you never actually 100% snap back. But what we want to do is help you to adjust to motherhood in a way that feels right to you. So if you notice that you're feeling that pressure to snap back, really check in. Where am I hearing that? Where am I feeling that pressure the most? And try to limit your exposure to those sources. Um, if that's a social media page or if that's a friend or a family member, Really try to guard your heart as much as you can around that. But also it can be helpful to use affirmations about, you know, my body and my what my body just did. I was able to bring forth life. Um, my scars are part of my strength. Uh, I'm the best mother for my child. I'm still me. Um, these are things that you can kind of use to talk to yourself when you start to feel that pressure coming up because ultimately, the main goal here has already been achieved. You've, you've come through it, you've brought a baby into this world. There, It is not realistic and it's really not fair that we require all mothers to sort of snap back in the same way. So just allowing yourself to adjust to it at your own pace in a way that makes sense to you.